Hey everybody, Mike here. Um, just a quick check-in. Um, ordered some juice from Freedom Smoke USA. Um, I like that you could customize uh, the juice, PG, VG. Nick content was pretty uh, was pretty uh, comparable. I guess that's the one I'm looking for. Some just offer, you know a low 11 and jump up to a 24 which you know it's a little hush I don't really like the 24 I, 18 I'm going to try and see how that goes that seems to be a little bit a little bit more in the middle so Freedom Smoke USA um, pretty good shipping uh, you know took took five days um, I'm not sure what the story was with that but you know here it is Friday I ordered it Saturday maybe they don't even go to the post office on Saturday so either way um, pretty much what I expected in shipping um, bottles are uh, pretty nice bottles nice little label there with uh, the contents uh, if it's a you know PGVG mix it'll actually put it on there this is a 18 uh, milligram Nick content with uh, it's a 10 mil bottle so I ordered actually three I ordered our wife for to refill my cardo uh, they ordered uh, which I actually really like those are awesome to have during the day work in the car um, I ordered honey, which was, I guess, sort of like a specialty, whatever, uh, blend. This honey, um, is crystal clear. It's a 70-30, um, mix, uh, again, 18 milligram, uh, content. And the last one I ordered was like a Maro, they call it Max Maro, uh, 80-20, uh, mix, and that is, uh, also 18 milligram. That's got a weird uh, sort of yellowy color. I don't know. I'm going to try that and let you know. Um, and uh, I think I already mentioned the RY4, uh, which I really wanted to try almost right away. So I've got that loaded into the T Rex. Um, one other thing before I start vaping that I kind of came across today that I think, you know, another discovery. Uh, I've been wanting a drip tip. I've been looking around. I did order uh, drip tips, some more cardomizers um, from vaporize.com, uh, Vapor Mike, whatever his name is there. Um, good prices on his site. Um, he's kind of involved and, you know, thought I'd throw him some business. And uh, again, his prices are reasonable. So, you know, why not throw him the business? Uh, he seemed to be involved in some of the forums and, you know, the forum and, and uh, Elixir TV and that kind of stuff. So, you know, why not throw his business his way? Uh, that being said, I got some drip tips coming, um, but I wanted one in the meantime. I've been using this whistle tip, um, you know, put taking it on and off dripping, uh, which seems to be the way to go for me, uh, sitting here at the desk. But I want a drip tip. So I'm sitting there at uh, work. It's kind of dead today. Uh, I had a pen cap uh, in my hand, and I snapped the uh, end off. Uh, so I start looking at it, and the pen cap looks pretty familiar. Um, it's got a pretty wide open end on one end and this end looks like kind of tapered so maybe we could do that so I'll get myself a razor blade and uh, cut off about a quarter of an inch and try it in the end here so I try it in hmm well, that fits pretty good and it's not really coming out either and it's a wedge so I cut just a hair off more so it's not coming close to the uh, bridge down there and what do you know I got myself a drip tip uh, made out of the end of a pen cap. So I take it home, and uh, they have this little nub on the side where the pen, the uh, the clip goes. Finish shaving that off with the razor, uh, razor blade, uh, nice and smooth. Little sandpaper, and it's almost like a straw. But I can drip right into the thing no problem there's the bridge tape it in the end slide it in on the inside of the atomizer so any juice that runs along the sides will eventually work its way down and clouds of vapor this RY4 whatever they mix it like I, I, I didn't look at the 50-50 oh, PGVG, great vapor, good throat hit at 18 milligrams, 
Um, great flavor. It's, it's very tasty. I've never had Hao Wai 4 except for in the uh, cardamizers I got. But it was a pre-filled card, so they weren't, there wasn't really good strong flavor. I could taste it, but not like I thought I would be able to. Um, so, that being said, one last thing from Freedom Smoke USA. They had very reasonable prices, I thought, uh, compared to everybody. And I've been looking around everywhere. I, I spent some time, you know, researching. But I thought this was kind of unique, and I thought I'd share it with you. Um, oh, one other thing. They threw in RY5, a 3 mil sample, for free. I thought that was kind of nice. I'm going to send that guy an email. Um, this is kind of cool. This is the uh, actual uh, invoice I got from them. Let me fold off the Bat Cave address. Um, but as you can see, they, uh, the whole family, it's a family run business, the whole family signed the goddamn receipt. I thought that was awesome. Um, you know, Xbox here um, saying that you know I checked it you checked it um, and uh, Ed himself I guess who must be the owner checked that off and they checked off my uh, address in two places so the shipping was right on the money very thorough um, good packaging from the post office came everything came in a ziplock bag so nothing leaked um, I'm happy I can't say anything else. So if you get a chance and you're just fighting around, you get an extra razor blade hanging around, don't cut yourself. Um, break off the pen tip, shave off that little nub, sand it down so it's nice and smooth, cut off about a quarter of an inch. It should measure, um, what did I What did I have in it? Let me just quickly take a measurement here. Good, I haven't ever rolled it. Uh, it's about an inch and a quarter long. Um, I'm running a, a standard, well, a standard length 510 atomizer uh, on there. Get a pretty good drawer off of it. Um, I found that if it doesn't draw too well, I did put a little teeny pinhole in the side there. That seemed to help with the airflow a little bit. Um, but if it doesn't flow that well, you can always just crack the atomizer just a hair. Uh, get a little bit more airflow in there if you, if you think you need it. But uh, homemade drip tip. Um, got one on the way, nothing like the factory ones, a fancy lip and stuff. It's a little wide, um, but you know, in a pinch. Uh, if you have a blues break, whatever, a drip tip, get a pen cap, cut off a quarter of an inch off that end, shave this sucker clean, uh, slap it in your atomizer, and uh, vape away. That's it for now. Uh, trying to keep the video spaced out a little bit. I mean, obviously, I'm learning a lot, so I'm trying to share what I get, but. Um, that's what I got uh, at this point. Keep on vaping. Thanks for watching.